Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marta and I'm so so excited today because I just got my new uh, Luxy matte shadows. It's the one on the top here, the nine shades here. And I just played with them and I am so in love with them. So I will just uh, go ahead and swatch them for you guys and then I will just go into the look. So if you just want to watch the swatches, you don't have to watch the last part of this video. So yeah. Um, by the way, these do retail for 250, so they're super, super cheap. There are a lot of more options, more neutral shades. They have a couple of pink shades. They have another like super purpley shades that I so have to have. This one does look a little bit purple, but it's more of like a purpley dark blue shade. And yeah, I think I will just go straight into the swatches and I will just start here with the shade that is called, I think this is better, and this is the shade Tiger. Then we have the shade Abanero right here. So the shade Beta. Tiger and Abanero. I will just turn down the lighting a little bit because then you can see more of the depth in the shadows. So those are the first ones. The next row is the shade Mesa which is more of a bright orange shade. Then it's the shade Boss which is this pinky purpley shade and then it's a bright red shade that is called Boop. And they look like this. So you can see the shade Boop here doesn't really swatch the best, but it's very, very pigmented and it's more of a blue-toned red. The shade Mesa was super, super pigmented and easy to swatch. This one also needs some building up. It's the one in the middle here. And it's a pinky purple, like I said, called Boss. And then it's the shade Boop. Now I'll be swatching the last row of my matte shadows. This greeny blue one is called Gremlin. Then this dark blue with purpley undertone is the shade complicated it feels a little bit more dry to the touch and then we have this last shade which is called heart throb so more of a burgundy shade as you can see i accidentally booped in there but yeah this is the shade gremlin then it's the shade complicated oh it's so so pigmented it's insane and then it's the shade Heart Throb here. As you can see, the reds aren't swatching the best, but I'm quite sure they will build up nicely on the eye. So here we have all of the matte shades swatched from start to end. It's the shade Beta, Tiger, it's the shade Abanero, Mesa, Boss, Boop, the green shade is Kremlin, then it's Complicated and Heart Throb. And just as a small bonus, I will just swatch the shimmer shades that I put in my palette that I used for this look that I have today. So I will just go in with these shades. So this one is the shade Siren of the Sea. It's one of my all-time favorite shadows. I just bought a backup because I'm so scared that she will discontinue it. Then it's the Mayhem Collection shade that is called Anarchy. And it's the Stax shade from her one of her previous uh, collections and it's an amazing gold. All of these are super sparkly and some of my favorite shimmers of like not just Luxie Beauty but all time. So here you can see Siren of the Sea. Then we have the shade Anarchy here. Oops, my swatches are horrible today. <laughs> And uh, then it's the shade Stax. So here you can see those shimmer shades. They're absolutely stunning. You can't really see too much of the shifts. So I'll just see if my lighting might change that. You can see it a little bit right here when I shift my arm. So yeah, these are all of the new matte shades plus the shimmer shades that I'm using in this look that I have right here. So 
If you want to see how I did this eyeshadow look using these shades, then please just keep on watching. I just have to show you how my fingers look after swatching these shimmers. Obviously I have some staining from the red shades, but they're just so, so beautiful. Oh, I cannot believe it. But yeah, over to the look. So for my first look with the Luxie Beauty shadows, I really want to go into the green and the blue shadow. And I think I will just put this one in the outer corner, this one in the inner corner of the crease. And maybe I will blend out the green with one of the yellows, I don't really know yet. And then I also have some new Luxie shadows here. It's not from the matte collection, but I have the shade Anarchy right here, which is from the Mayhem collection. And it's a super pretty duochrome. It goes from blue to completely purple. You can't really see right here, but I will definitely show you later. And I might just use either Siren of the Sea right here or the shade Stax just to get um, a little bit of a contrast also on the eyelid using this shadow and maybe one of these. But this is quite duochrome, so we'll just see. So I'm just taking my Kaleidos S3 brush. It's the first time I'm using it, but it's a blending brush that is uh, a little bit flat actually, and I really like that. So I'm just going to tap into the shade Complicated right here and it picks up very easily and then I'm just going to start to blend it out in my outer corner of the crease. I'll just make sure that my Makeup Revolution base is not creasing. And I did already do my face makeup so I'll be a little bit careful now just so I don't spill the blue shadow everywhere. So I'm tapping it in gently. And I'm getting fallout immediately, of course. So I'm just taking my RCMA baking powder right here. And I'm just building it up underneath my eye just so it will catch any fallout that I get. So now it's going to be quite dry underneath my eyes, but I will just spray my face with some setting spray afterwards to get the moisture back. So I didn't apply anything more of this uh, shadow. I'm just continuing to tap it in. And as you can see, it's absolutely stunning. It's so pigmented. Oh, and I just love deeper shades just like this. And it seems to like, just look how easy it blends in the edge here. Wow. Blends so easily. Wow. I think blue shadows I often have problems with, especially with the blending, but... Okay, so my camera just stopped filming, but I think it was just when I finished using the shade Complicated on my right eye. So I'm just going to go in with this one. It's the shade Gremlin. It's the green one with a little bit of uh, blue hints in it. And I'm just taking a little bit of it. It didn't pick up as easily as the shade Complicated. So I went in once more and this is how it's looking. So now I'm just using the Kaleidos Makeup Brush S2, which is more of a normal blending brush. And I'm just going to use this to apply the green shade in my inner corner here. And I'm going in once more in the shadow. And there we go. So as I said, I feel like this is more of like a cool toned green because it has a little bit of blue in it. It's almost the same colors that you can see in the Colourpop uh, Just My Luck palette. And usually I tend to go more for the greens that are more warm toned, more grungy toned, a little bit military. But this green is really good. As you can see it just applies so easily, it's quite pigmented. The only thing I'm scared about with these shades is if I blend too much, if I just start grabbing off the product from my skin. But I mean, I haven't seen, like, look at how easily that blended. But I haven't seen any tendencies of that yet. Wow. Okay, so I'm really impressed with these shadows. I am going to go in a little bit more here in the middle because I want to have the shadows very saturated but I want the blue a little bit more to the middle so I will do that but first I'm just going to do the same thing with my other eye it's not like super pigmented immediately but you can definitely build it up I 
felt like the blue was more pigmented actually. But as you can see it does blend out very nicely, it builds up very nicely. So I'm not complaining. Honestly, I don't really want to go in with yellow because I think that this just blends out so easily, but I do want to try as many shadows as I can, so maybe I should go in with the yellow. I'll just start with the Kaleidos makeup brush in S5 and I will just take a little bit of the shade Butter or Butter. <laughs> I'll just apply it from the inner corner here and just drag it up gently. I love brushes like these. They're very detailed, plus it blends out, so that's just perfect. This yellow also seems to be very pigmented. I will have to go in with the green though because I tapped it a little bit on top of the green and I want the green to go all the way here. So I'm just stopping right here. I don't want the yellow to go any further than that. So now I'm just like re-intensifying that green shade a little bit. Blending it a little bit more up here because I don't think I'm going to use a transition shade right here. I might just go in with the purple that I have in the middle of the palette though to blend out the outer edge here but I feel like then I should probably have had something in transition here as well so but I'm, I want to try most as many shade, shades as possible honestly so I might just still do it maybe it won't turn out to be the prettiest look but I just want to play with all these shades. Wow, okay, so previously I've said that Luxie sh matte shadows are not my favorite, but that I like them. But if you just look at this blend, I, I really like these new matte shades. They're really pigmented and they seem to blend out so easily. And I'm like using some of the usually hardest colors to blend, like greens and blues. So I really want to try the purple. I'm going to try the purple too. I'm just going to use my color switch with this tiny blending brush, the S5, so that it's clean like this. And then I'm just going to tap into the shade, I think it's called Boss. It's the purple shade. It picks up very, very easily. And I think I'll just try to like... Wait, I'll zoom you in a little bit. I'll be trying to like start it right here where it get where the other shade is the darkest just to like make it a more warm purple and I don't want it too far into the green and then I just will try to blend it out a little bit just like that just a little hint of that warm purple and then I think, hmm, I think when I'm done with my my upper crease and everything on the top here, I think I might just blend the purple down here, and then I'll have the clean purple right here, and maybe I'll go into some of the other like orangey shades or something, just like this. And then I will just take some setting powder, and I'll just I have this one with some setting powder already. I'll just make sure I tap down here because I did use a wet base and I don't want the shadows to go much further up. So I'm just going to make sure this is matte and then I'm not taking any more product because I still have some product here. Then I'll just gently, gently blow it out here. I'm not putting a lot of pressure on my brush especially here when it goes into the green shade. I feel like these are blending so seamlessly. It's so weird. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'll just do the same thing on my other eye and then I will start with the shimmer. Okay, so my camera did not record, but I was telling you about using my 
Makeup Revolution cut crease canvas here in the shade Halo, which is the white one. And then I just tapped it like right here close to my lower lash line. And then I looked up. Okay, I'll need to apply a little bit more. Just to mark out where my cut crease should be. So I just did that on my right eye. And then I just filled it out. And I did also say that I used my BH Cosmetics Glitter Glue last time with the shimmer shade from the Mayhem collection and it ended up creasing. I did use it, or like I did have my makeup on for 13 hours, so that might happen anyway, but I'm just trying a different method now and see if that works a little bit better. Um, and I do want to use the shade Stax, which is the gold shade, and just use it as like a golden liner on the top here. So even though I want a crisp line, it's not that important with this one because I will be going in with a liner later and then I can like sort of correct it a little bit. So I'm just dragging them out a little bit because I want the, the shimmer shades to go quite far out, not completely out there, but like this and making sure I sort of follow my eye shape here, so a little bit further up here. So I think I'm ready to go in with the shimmers. So I just put the shades here that I want to use. Makes a really nice 12 pan palette, doesn't it? <laughs> so I'm just going to take this one on my outer corner of the lid, then I'll do this one on the inner corner of the lid, and this one I will just mix with a little bit of my glitter glue, and mark out my catch crease with. It would have been really nice to use this as a liner as well, but I think it might be too much. Plus I already said I wanted to blend out the mattes right here, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. So now I'm just taking my S4 brush from Kaleidos Makeup, which is a flat brush, and I'll just be swiping twice in the pan. And this is how it's looking, it's not much, so I will just take a little bit more. The other one that I used picked up very easily. Now I did. You can really see the duochrome here. So I'll just start applying this on my outer corner. It doesn't pick up too much on the brush, so I'll just be picking up more and then applying it and doing that until I'm satisfied with how it's looking, so I'll just speed it up a little bit. Now I'm going in with another flat shading brush and then I'm just going to pick up some of the shade Siren of the Sea here. It's one of my absolute favorite single shadows of all time. It's so beautiful and sparkly. And I'll just apply that to my inner corner. And with this one you need to be a little bit careful because the glitter will fly a little bit. But as you can see it's a stunning stunning shade. It's almost like a seagrass or like mermaid green. I don't know, it's so hard to explain. It's such a beautiful shade. And I did map out a little part here so I can sort of have it going on top of the crease or cat crease like here. I mean you see the shape. It's like I have the darkest shade here and then I'm just playing this one completely in the inner corner and dragging it upwards here. And I'm just blending these shades together a bit. So now that I have put on the shimmers, I'm just going to take some BH Cosmetics Base Booster right here. I'm applying this much and then I'm just taking my, one of my glue brushes that I have here because it's very precise on the end because of the glue has made it so hard. And then I'm just taking the shade Stax, which is the uh, bright, bright golden shade right here. And it's a little bit crumbly, so I will just um, take some of it from here. So uh, this is how much I picked up, quite a lot, but I do have a lot of glue here that I want to mix it with. So I'm just mixing it together here. If we can focus. And just mixing the shade with the glue. And some of it fell down, so I might have to take some more of that shade. It is looking quite 
nice like a paste and now I obviously have quite a lot on my brush already so I'm just going to make sure I actually have it on the tip of my brush and that it's not way too much and then I think I will just start right here and it's going to be hard to talk so I'm just going to map out everywhere here and just apply it on both eyes and you don't want a too thick of a line So you want to start out with a tiny line because if you make some mistakes then you can just make the line a little bit thicker and correct it. So I think I like it like this, not super intense right here but almost like it blends out. So I'm just gonna do the same thing. As you can see I have way too much product so if you're doing the same you don't have to use that much. So now I just want to brush away all of the excess powder here. Okay, and now we're going to see how these shadows are going to perform with um, like on top of set powder because I did use a base now, a tacky base. Um, and I think I will just continue using uh, this tiny uh, detail brush, which is the number S5. And I'm going to tap once very gently into the purple shade both and then I'm just going to I think I'll start here place it where I really want it to be pigmented and then I'm going to tap it just over the edge right here so very gently and a little bit more precise and blend it into that blue shade I mean, you almost don't even see that it's blue anymore because, I mean, it has hints of purple in it. It's a little bit of a purpley blue. And now that I'm mixing it with this purple, it's really looking like a purple shade instead. Okay, I'm a little bit like, what the hell now? So I'm just going to smoke this out a little bit more and then I will just use the, the uh, shade Mesa, which is the brighter orange. And then I will just blend it out right here. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just add a little bit more of that pinky purple shade right here to intensify it and smoke it out a little bit. Then I will just do my other eye and I will be back to show you my finished look. This is my finished look using the new Luxie matte shadows and I'm so in love with them. They are just so beautiful and it's like, I think these are some of the best mattes I've ever tried if I'm being honest. They were super pigmented, they blended out so easily and yeah, I just really love how this look turned out. Like I felt like I used a lot of the um, more harder shadows to blend and I feel like they blended really nicely so yeah I really really like this it's a great first impression of these shades I cannot wait to use the rest of the shades to try the other orange the red shadows and the yellow shadow called tiger it's also so beautiful uh, I'm just really really happy that I bought all of these and I'm so happy that Luxie finally came out with uh, some new matte shadows and they haven't really had many yellow shadows before, I think. I don't own any matte yellows from Luxie. And I totally understand now why she has been so quiet for so long. Because she doesn't really post much on Instagram. And she's clear clearly been working quite a lot on these matte shadows. They really performed so well. So I definitely recommend these to you. 
So yeah, I really hope you liked this look. If you did, then please give this uh, video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos from me, please uh, subscribe to my channel and hit that uh, bell so that you will get a notification every time I post. I do post on Thursdays and on Sundays and I sometimes post bonus videos if I do have a lot of videos. So yeah, thank you so so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye!